So hi guys, it's SJ speaking and in today's video we're going to see about a topic known as gap theory in stock market. So uh, why we uh, we find gaps on uh, trading charts. Uh, so uh, that is why uh, that is what we are going to see in this video. So uh, before going to the video, I'm personally teaching trading. So if you want to learn trading from me personally, you can contact me from the number in the scrolling below. So I'm also providing discounts for the first 25 members who take my course. So if you are interested, you can contact me and have the details. So now let's go into the video. So what is the gap theory? So uh, what are why are gaps forming on charts? Uh, so uh, the gap is an area on a price chart in which there are no trades occurring. So there is no trading activity there. Uh, this happens because of excessive demand or excessive supply due to imbalance in the uh, market due to imbalance. So uh, imbalance occurs when there are excessive buyers or excessive sellers. So that is where a gap occurs. So uh, um, it offers evidence that something has happened to the fundamentals or psychology of the crowd that accompanies this market movement. Uh, for example, if a gap occurs, for example, you might see uh, if the US market, US market and Indian market have some uh, relationship. You can see if the US market is uh, opens, uh, if it closes positively, for example, if the US market closes uh, on Friday positively, if the NASDAQ closes, then on the Monday, if uh, you can see our market will gap up and open. So sometimes uh, this might not happen at every time, but mostly it uh, occurs. So this is the relationship between uh, US market and Indian market sometimes. So, so our market gaps up and open, gaps up and opens if the US, US market closes positively. Similarly, if the US market closes negatively, our market when opening on the next day, it will open uh, by gap downing, by gap down. So that is why when market leaves a gap and opens at a higher price the next day, it is known as gap up. When it leaves a gap and opens at a lower price the next day, it is known as gap down. So uh, when these gaps happen, they usually get filled, but it's not always the case. Suppose if a gap happens, you can see uh, if a gap happens here, so you can see the gap here, it usually gets filled immediately or after a few times it gets filled so this is uh, known as gapping filling the gap or gap filling so in technical analysis so why this happens because uh, it might happen due to uh, the fundamentals for example if a stock is uh, receiving some news that it has it received orders worth uh, 120 crore rupees from uh, from another company means for example if the stock is like this it might gap up and uh, it might go up because uh, since there is a uh, good news, extraordinary good news, the seller will be giving willing. Seller will stand here only. For example, if the stock here is a uh, hundred rupees and here is uh, around one ten rupees, there are not sellers in between. The the lowest seller is only at lowest ask price is one ten. So there is no trading activity here. You are, if you if you are willing to buy the stock, you have to buy here. So uh, he the seller is clever. He knows that there there will be demand for the stock. The buyers will rush to buy. So he will use this opportunity and he will sell at higher prices. So this is what happens here. The demand is high. There is increased buying interest in the stock, and the seller makes use of this opportunity and he makes profit out of it because he might have bought it at lower prices, such as ninety rupees in this case. So twenty rupees profit for him if he sells at one ten rupees. Similarly, if there is some bad news, uh, for example, in a bank, for example, take uh, Indian bank, for example, in the Indian bank, uh, theft occurred. For example, uh, somebody uh, fraud, made a fraud, they uh, stole money or some bad news. Then what happens if the stock is trading at 120 rupees, for example, it gaps down to 110 rupees. So why? Because there is excessive supply. But uh, sorry, uh, there is no demand for the stock. Since uh, there is bad news, the buyers are not willing to buy the stock at this situation. Uh, they are willing, but they are only willing to buy at 110 rupees. There are no buyers here. But the seller gets panicked. Uh, the seller gets panicked due to that news. So he have to sell the stock, but there are no buyers here. So you have to come down and you have to uh, uh, sell it here only. You have to find the buyer. So there are, there is a gap down here. So this is known as a uh, gap down. So this uh, happens due to this bad news since there is no demand, but there is excessive supply, but there is no one willing to buy. So this is the case. This is the second example. Um, 
so uh, you can read it uh, by passing the video if you want to understand it clearly so types of gaps there are around five types of gaps the first is common gap breakaway gap runaway gap exhaustion gaps and island gaps or island clusters or you can also simply you know call it as island reversals the first thing is common gap this uh, usually happens in a sideways market so this is known as sideways market so it can happen like this uh, it might get filled soon so it can happen again here it might get filled soon so it might happen here it again gets filled uh, it might happen here again get filled so in a sideways market it happen means it is a common gap so gap up and gap down might occur again and again simultaneously in this sideways market so you can uh, see this uh, in uh, charts so 15 minutes charts for example you can see or in day charts also you can see so in a sideways market this these are known as uh, trading gaps or area gaps why because they happen in a trading range so that is why they are known as a trading gaps or you can call it as an area gap since this is an area trading area so this is not a trending trending zone this is a trading zone so trading zone means sideways market so these occur due to low volume or lack of interest on a particular stock at a specific time and i have said uh, why there is um, uh, because uh, you might the you might the spread is high that is the difference between the bid and ask price is high so bid is the highest price that the buyer is willing to pay for a stock and uh, ask is the lowest price that the seller is willing to sell his stock to the buyer so there is high difference between the spread so uh, that is why the gap occurs um common gaps occur due to low volume and lack of interest on a particular stock at a particular time they happen very often and are usually filled very soon uh, they happen very often and are usually filled uh, very soon and are usually filled very soon okay next i will uh, show you about breakaway gaps common gaps and uh, the next thing is breakaway gaps so these occur when the price is breaking out of a trading range so uh, these occur with high volumes so in the case of common gaps it is low volumes but in this case of breakaway gaps it is low volumes uh, sorry uh, in the case of common gaps it is low volume in the case of breakaway gaps it is high volume uh this usually happens after a pattern breakout you can see if it breaks out if a candle breaks out it is a normal breakout pattern but uh instead of candle breaking out it might gap up here there is a gap here and the candle may form here so this is known as breakaway gap so the volume would be high significantly high the volume would be high and there is gap up here so these usually don't get filled immediately they might go up sometimes they get filled sometimes they might not get filled they might simply go away so waiting is uh uh waiting is uh, you can wait but uh, mostly uh, you have to look whether the candle whether the significantly high volume means the candle would not uh, come back so you have to take that uh, note that and uh, carefully make your trading decisions and uh, this is the breakaway gap so this usually occurs at high volumes so it happens only at breakaway zones uh, high reliable means before a pattern for example uh, uh, if you can see uh, you can also if inverted head and shoulders pattern it gaps up and goes up or uh, head and shoulders pattern means uh, sorry uh, you know one minute so it happens here means it will just go down so this is the breakaway gap so this is the gap so the next thing is runaway gap so these happens during a strong uptrend or downtrend so they are known as continuation gaps or measuring gaps so trend continuous it happens here so this is the runaway gap if it happens here so this is the run sorry so this is the runaway gap during a strong uptrend or downtrend if it occurs it is known as runaway gap so this indicates increased interest in the stock if some news happens uh, usually the seller would be uh, the seller would be clever and you'd sell at higher prices uh, due to the news if any bad news occurs uh, it similarly happens here so increased interest in the stock due to some good news or bad news so this is the runaway gap and uh, this is exhaustion gaps exhaustion gaps happens at the end of a trend for example uh, during end of a trend it happens and it happens like this or it usually happens like uh, this so these get immediately filled once the trend reverses and goes in the opposite directions so get immediately filled such as a common gap 
whereas these two gaps might not get filled this break away and run away uh, so waiting for the gap to get filled it might not be a good idea at some cases but here it definitely usually uh, fills at uh, quickly after it happens in the case of exhaustion gap or common gap so this happens at the end of an uptrend or downtrend with high volumes so next finally comes the island cluster or island gap or island reversals they are identified by an extortion gap followed by a breakaway gap in opposite direction they can act as strong trend reversal signals so for example it happens like this you can see something like this uh, it occur and there is uh, again there is a gap here and goes up it occurs like this so this is known as island reversals so it happens like this so there is a gap here and there is a sideways market here and it might go down so uh, this is a break uh, breakout gap this is a extortion gap sorry uh, this is a sideways market and this is a breakout there is a channel breakout here so this is a breakaway gap here is a exhaustion gap so exhaustion gap followed by a breakaway gap so i can even example in the case of single candles so if the candle occurs like this uh, so this is a break uh, island cluster breakout island reversals or uh, island gap so this is also an example so this is the gap this is the example and uh, you can see um, next um, i will show you live chart example um you can see uh, the gap if uh, before going to the different types i will show you what is gap up and gap down so you can see here this is a uh, nifty a 15 minute chart you can see here uh, the nifty closes at uh, 315 and the next day it opens uh, by a gap up so this is known as gap up so this is actually an extortion gap extortion gap and it's a gap up it's an exhaustion gap um, and also it's a gap up you can see the trend after uh, reversed but it's not an island reversal you can say ah yes of course it's an island reverse no it's not an island reversal uh, yes it's not an island reversal actually you can see it's an exhaustion gap up you can see the nifty closes at 315 and there is a gap down here so this is a so this is the gap down and it gets filled after some few uh, candles it gets filled here so um this is how sometimes it usually filled uh, quickly uh, the next candle itself might get filled but sometimes it's not the case so these are uh, gap up and gap down for uh, common gaps uh, these are uh, in the day chart in, this is a sideways market you can see there is a gap here you can see the gap between this candle so these are normal gaps which usually gets filled again immediately after two or three candles they get filled immediately so these are common gaps so any sideways market you can see so in this case it's a channel you can see so any sideways market you can see the gap down immediately get filled after some few days you can see gap up it gets filled after a few candles so three candles it get filled so these are common gaps and uh, when the, see the breakout occurred here and after the uptrend forms during the continuation of an uptrend you can see there is a gap up here due to some news the uh, stock might gets uh, gapped up good news so this is known as runaway gap during a strong uptrend you can see strong uptrend there is a gap up so similarly this is the highland cluster you can see so you can see the gap down here and again a gap up this is the highland cluster formations and uh, this is the extortion gap immediately after this gap forming you can see the trend reverse and you can also take note of the volume and again you can see the extortion gap here once uh, the uptrend is going to end after this gap the uptrend ended here also the uptrend ended so this is the extortion gap you can here also you can see again there is an extortion gap this is also an extortion gap so three extortion gaps uh, back to back you can see here so these are known as runaway so this gap these gaps are not runaway gaps 
they uh, some runaway gas get filled and some may not get filled you can see uh, so this gap did not get completely filled here so uh, this gap uh, yeah this gap also did not get completely filled almost it got filled but not fully so and it went up so this is runaway it might not get filled or it may also get filled uh, breakaway gaps also may or may not get filled but exhaustion gaps get filled immediately in the get filled in the opposite direction once the trend reverses common gaps also get filled quickly so another example for island clusters uh, you can see here so this is the example so, uh, so actually this is the example you can see this is how the island cluster happens so i will show you here So you can see here the down there is a strong downtrend and after it you can see a gap up at the end of this trend and again there is a gap up so you can see this is a trading zone so once this trading zone gets broken you can see so this is a island so this is what it looks like a island here separately this zone so again you can see uh, this separate zone you can see here so this is also island reversal the trend was uh, the trend was downtrend a small downtrend happened here and you can see um, the once the trend got reversed you can also use fibonacci uh, mm -hmm. you can see you can use fibonacci And see. So when it got uh, again, it went up. So you can use this swing uh, low, and you can also use trading here. Sometimes you can see it's around zero point seven eight six levels. If you took an uh, entry uh, around this uh, level also, you can. Just an example I showed you. Now uh, another example is that um, uh, this is the breakaway gap you can see after a uh, ascending triangle you can see so it's almost an ascending triangle pattern here it's almost uh, like an ascending triangle and you can see the breakaway gap you can see high volumes here okay pattern also existed here so if you have taken around middle of this entry and keep your stop loss around this uh, here you can make around the uh, profit zones. You can see around, or you can, so this is very much high. So it's a breakout. But sometimes many traders would wait. But you have to look uh, and see whether sometimes it might come down to. But breakout trading is actually risky. Uh, come back to the pullback trading. So. Uh, that's that is the risk in a breakout trading so this is breakaway gap uh, so this is the concept guys uh, you can see so uh, this is the gap up theory ga gap down gap up and uh, gap theory so this is the gap theory so hope you guys enjoy this video so i will visit you on my next video so uh, until then so if you like uh, sh uh, like my channel uh, share my channel and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so you get notified if you want to learn trading from me you can contact me by the number in the scrolling below i am providing discounts for the test 25 members and also if you want to open a dmat account you can call me from uh, sorry you can uh, visit the zerotha link on the video description on all my youtube videos i have uh, given you the link and you can open a DMAT account and start trading from today onwards. So thank you guys. I will visit you on my next video. Until then, bye-bye.